Hello, Jane. I'm here with a new tutorial on how to map a texture onto a simple model. I'm sure you know textures.com, and I found this one with a wall and a window. The link is added to the description. For that, I'm going to create now a simple mesh using Blender 3 and then map the texture onto it using Smart UV Project. Okay, I downloaded the image and now drag the file from the explorer into the Blender viewport. The view is snapped to front autographic. I move it using the move tool, it doesn't have to be too accurate. And then we have it in the viewport and we can add a simple mesh, okay? So in object mode, I press Shift and A, select mesh and then plane. To rotate the plane 90 degrees, I snap to right autographic, press the R key and hold the control key press so that we can rotate in five degree steps. Okay, now I tap into edit mode then switch to edge selection here in the toolbar and then select and move the edges using the move tool to the borders of the image. Again, this doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. Okay, then I'll switch to X-ray mode so that we can see the image through the plane. And then I'm going to add edge loops to create the window shape. Press Ctrl and the R key to add them. I want to map the wall and the window, but not the window sill, so I don't include it. You will see what I mean later on when we come to UV unwrapping. Now just go ahead and create the basic outline for the window. Okay, now go to face selection, select the face in the center that represents the window, and it has to be extruded to the inside, so I press the E key and move it along the axis. Just a tiny bit, and to see the mesh fully, I hide the image here in the outliner. Okay, now we have the mesh, and the first thing we need is a material. So with the object selected, I go to the material tab, and then press the new button. I give the material a new name, for example, matte wall. All right, what we also have to do is to unwrap the mesh. So I go to edit mode, press A to select all, then I press U and select Smart UV Project. I increase the margin a bit so that we can later on better see the UV islands. Yeah, and then it's time to open a shader editor so that we can connect the image to the material that we defined. Okay, in the shader editor, we see the principal shader for the material. Then I press Shift and A and add an image texture. We connect it to the base color of the principal shader. And the image we can select here because it is already imported into the project. Okay, in the viewport, we can see the image assigned to the mesh. When I change to viewport shading. But of course, the UV mapping has to be done. We have to match the UV islands to the correct positions of the image. So we open up again a new window, which will be for the UV editor. Okay, when I select the mesh in edit mode by pressing the A key, you see the UV islands on the right side in the UV editor. When I select the UV sync button, then the UVs that are select in the 3D viewport get selected in the UV editor as well. Now we can select the different parts, for example, the faces for the wall around the window. But you see, we have to scale and rotate the UV islands, but I want the proportions to be the same for all the islands. So I select all and press S to scale them up all together. Now I scale and rotate so that I match the wall around the window. And as I said, I want to exclude the window sill. To scale for a particular axis, you can press S followed by the axis X or Y. The same can be done for moving islands by pressing G followed by the axis or pressing R and then the axis for the rotation. Okay, now we have a pretty good matching position for the wall. And now select the face for the window and try to match it. We have to scale it now along the Y axis, so I press S followed by Y. And on the left side in the viewport, we can see the result. Okay, now the only parts that are missing are the insides of the wall around the window. 
so with the UV sync selected, I select the faces in the viewport and then move the UV islands to the appropriate positions. This one here to the right of the window and this one is below the window sill. We can press G to move it or use the move tool and R to rotate and don't forget to press the control key so that we can rotate it in 5 degree steps because we have to rotate 90 degrees. The same here for the one at the top. Ok, now have a look at the result in the viewport, looks pretty decent. And what we could do to improve it a bit is go to the shader editor again and use the image texture as a bump map. So press Shift and A and type in bump. Then we get a bump node and connect it to the normal input of the principal shader. And the color of the image texture I connect to the height input of the bump node. Now that's a bit too intense, so I decrease the strength and this looks pretty nice. Ok, and this is how you can map an image to a mesh. I hope you found it understandable and you like it. I say thanks for watching guys, if you like the video and the channel then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any questions then add these to the comments below. See you soon guys here on my channel on JNM.